Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Overtly Mocking Games. I'm going with that title, I don't care how <laughs> ridiculous it is. OM Game, that's right, the corollary to what the film. This is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are here continuing along on Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers, uh, episode like 75 or whatever by this point. 428. Um, yeah, so, so far we have sexually harassed a, a girl who works for us, a uh, pretty woman while pretending to be a police officer, which Local is, I believe, a crime. Yeah. And um, possibly somebody else. Oh, uh, we sexually harassed a police officer. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we are. Um, uh, so who will we get to sexually harass today? That's really the, the name of the game. Who will Tim Curry, as our avatar, sexually harass today? <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What do you say? Let's do it. Boy, it's Stan Black for a really... Oh, there we go. So what do you think? Like, I'm I'm assuming that, like, each time we start a new DOS, it's, um, you had to insert a different CD if you were playing this in the original. Oh, yeah. Do you think it was CDs? What year did this come out? Early 90s, I think it was CDs. I had this game. I played this game. I'm almost certain it was CDs. I think it came with... I remember the box was like that one of those weird, like, triangular boxes, you know, that, like, didn't quite fit together or whatever. Do you think that there was also an option to play this on, like, 428 three and a half inch floppy disks? I really don't think so, but maybe. <laughs> Because I, I remember that CD packet, but yeah, that was during that time where you could get one or the other. DOS 3. <laughs> Drawn to Bacchus's abode, I sought there to conspire. Oh, I thought you were going to take the second oh. half. But it was in the city of the dead that I found my heart's desire. Dun, dun. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't pick it up there. <laughs> I was too busy trying to control the paper boy. You can, you can set your watch to Grace picking up that paper. <laughs> I'm so glad you could join us today. I've got messages when you want. So wait, did people call overnight? I hope one of them's for mm -hmm. my grandma. I also checked out Kazanoo. There are multiple listings in the white pages. I got the page, but you'll have to figure out the right So one. does he literally just pay her to look in the phone book for shit? Right, right. Well, assumedly if a customer came in, she would take care of them as well, right? Uh, a what now? <laughs> We just got points for Waking her up. giving us something. I mean, there wasn't any choice there. <laughs> mm. Don't tell me you actually got to see her. The star There's still a lot of shit in this room that we haven't clicked on. Yeah, really, we could we could be clicking on things, Perzing. I think we just f figured out why Tim Curry wasn't in any musicals. <laughs> you know. Did you know that Tim Curry also that, plays Robert the, the Butler, Molly Getty's Butler? Uh, no. When Daddy so mom, for a little bit in the last video, he was talking to himself. Huh. <laughs> I always suspected there was something fishy nice. In your tree. But fishy in your family tree? Is that a hint that perhaps Dagon is going to show up here? I think it's just a shitty mixed metaphor. I don't know why, but I have a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach about this. It's called jealousy, my dear. And you're right. You should be jealous of Malia Getty. As should every woman. Is he really family. like showing off because just, he impersonated a police officer and got thrown out? Slippery little hand. See, it's he's a he's part fish. This is going into Dagon in place. And soon. Oh, a customer. Bruno. How nice. Oh, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. Of yours, hardly. Wait, why did he emphasize hard like that? Yeah, that's. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. They're like, we have to show that he's gay, so make it. Give him a mince. Give him a mincing walk. And tiny shorts and this wild, masturbatory gesticulation. <laughs> How much would you give me for it, Bruno? Gabriel, do, 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 don't you do, 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 dare do, do, do. sell your father's painting. Stay out of this crisis. I need money. Ooh, you're serious. I might have to bribe some kid it? in the park today. Yeah, I'll let you have it, all right. <laughs> How much for the painting? Hmm. 
Well, I could give you a hundred. Oh, that means we can go get Alligator Jesus. <laughs> oh, right. Gabriel, I forgot about Gator Jesus. <laughs> Grace, let me deal with this. Fine, it's yours. Gabriel, here, here's the hundred. Do, 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 do. We just got points for getting rid of a priceless family heirloom for a pittance. Yeah, this seems really um, badly weighted as a puzzle. Well, alright, that is a fair enough point, I guess. That it'll be appreciated. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, maybe he could... Maybe we should say, like, for $100 and you put a note, like... From Gabriel Knight, who owns this bookstore, go to his place, you know? Yeah, use it as advertising. Now we need to click on each of those bricks. Yeah. One of those bricks is probably something exciting It's probably, over. like, loose. I don't think I've seen the magnifying glass come up before. Times pick of you. Dated June 20, 1992. Who says 1990? <laughs> Is Gabriel scans over an uninteresting front page the headline? <laughs> also, he he obviously has it open to a middle page. <laughs> oh, maybe Malia Getty will be there because she's black. Let's go harass her. That seems. <laughs> It seems a bit dark for a, a Times Picayune uh, uh, daily horoscope there. Yeah, they're pretty much all like that. Got Leo, <laughs> that lump that? is cancer. Do you have messages for me? Your pal mostly called. He left a message that they're interrogating a suspect this morning, and you might want to be there. Oh that God, this is it's that kid <laughs> from the park, isn't I it? I bet. <laughs> Snakes, 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 snakes. Have more messages Are we gonna go pour Your mom died. Childish pranks on Mosley. <laughs> now he's claimed to be a relative of yours. I took down his number. If you change your mind and want to give him a call back, just ask me for it. Oh good, maybe today we're gonna delve deeper into the whole family phone background phone rather than... <laughs> sure. God, what was it? Talking. Voodoo that we did yesterday. God, please no more about talking about voodoo for... Shot yeah. Jaegers. Wow, Grace, that's a really, like, overly dramatic way to Here's say that. <laughs> Thanks. Do we have a phone where we could call people on? I don't even see one. Oh, well, yeah, there was one that looked oh, maybe like upstairs? something weird upstairs. Remember? It was like a scream mask. Use the toilet to call someone. I'll take this hair gel. <laughs> you never know when you'll need a touch-up. Yeah. Take that box of condoms, uh, too. Somewhere there's a New Orleans phone book. Oh, Missing right, the Casano. So, like, do we actually get to role play doing some work here with him calling different Casanos? <laughs> Why is Casano B before Casano with nothing? Oh, we're going to use the scream mask. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Erzin got a little excited with the fives there. Hi, is this the Kazanu residence? Yes. What can I do for you? Do you is your or does refrigerator you running? The Dixieland drug store? <laughs> I'm a busy man. What are you selling? Nothing. Good. Goodbye. So if he had been selling something, he was okay to talk to him. Right. He's too busy not to buy things. Hello? Hello? I'm calling from the Dixieland Drugstore. We have an order for you. Gastro, be quiet! So we're literally just calling this woman who was in there? I don't know why. Mm, oh, we're calling that old lady that was... Oh, I for, yeah, I forgot about her. I repressed the memory of this game as soon as we close it down every week. Yeah, uh... Maybe we should call okay. the Cajun Critters Veterinary Clinic. I think we're going to. I don't know why, though. Oh, we got to turn it on, Perzing. Jeez, <laughs> Perzing just gets really excited about this phone for some reason. Critters, Mostly just the phone. It didn't even ring. 
Do you know anything about snakes? <laughs> Ask her about a snakes. Madame as a class. <laughs> Madame Cosimo? Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me. She wow, pet stores just uh, really give out their information pretty easily, I guess. Um. Uh, yes, but I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. <laughs> he's missed three dance lessons. Castro? Her little doggy? Oh, he's so. Sweet. I'm getting a weird echo well, on this game at this point. Castro, like it suddenly just started. It's it's. Okay. it's I'm I'm kind of uh, worried that there are demons is, involved. Four, five, Dauphine. Did we accidentally dial six six six? Hmm. I wonder. Can you put like the Cajun animal critter in memo? Like, why is there a memo button on it? Yeah. Why didn't we try dialing that? Four, nine, what note is this now? Zero, I don't remember nine, this note. It's the one Grace just three, gave us with two, the German four, guy. Oh, this is the three, international three, number. Got it. Three, God, Nana Narrator reads phone numbers slowly. <laughs> <laughs> tree. 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 Like, she had a heart attack in between each of those numbers. Do you think 49 is actually the country code for Germany? I have no idea. I'm looking for Wolfgang Good day, Ritter. you've reached yeah, Castle Ritter. Yeah, yes, this just Gabriel a moment. This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? Uh, you I just called me. There is an evil eye upon you. It is hard to explain, Fawn. I have had senses, uh, feelings about you. Ephraim Symbolist Jr. always plays characters who appear on the phone first. I sense that had a grandson, <laughs> That's a strange uh, typecast. Started, I yeah. I don't know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Yes. Heinz was my brother. There's much about Oh, God, no, we know so, so much already. Please. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittelsberg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything. West Germany? You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Was there even um, a West Germany in 1993? But frankly, I don't know you from Adam. I wonder if maybe maybe the West wasn't meant to be capitalized. To unified in like 91 or something. If you won't listen, yeah. At least let me send you I wonder if this game was like written, you know, written before the wall came down and then came well, out after, busy. and somebody Please just forgot to change that. You are the last yeah. I am too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please. You must make sure you have lots of children. I don't know what the fuck accent I was right. just doing. It. it definitely <laughs> wasn't a German accent. <laughs> I was I was trying to do some sort of... I was trying to think of some play on uh, Help Us Obi-Wan Kenobi, but it just <laughs> really doesn't work with Gabriel. No. Wait, slap her on the ass before you go. <laughs> Off to ask some random women about snakes. <laughs> Don't hurry back on my account. Let's go check out Bruno's place, see how the painting looks there. Such a witty banter they have between them. Yeah. She didn't make some snarky comment about his hair. Ah. Uh. I hope we get to put Gator Jesus in our pocket. <laughs> Can I ask you just a few more questions? Well, Sid put that giant yeah. painting in his pocket, so... Yeah, true enough. Are you still interested in... Oh, it's just the mask we're buying, I see. Well, you show me a hundred dollars, and the mask is yours. I just have to show it to you, I don't have to give it to you? I guess. That's cool. That's, a, that's even more equitable. I have a hundred dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? I thought we just established that. I didn't agree to give it to you, asshole. <laughs> now, I think Gator Jesus kind of looks better without the head. Yeah, you go. Careful don't bite you now. Are we gonna just Thanks. wear it on our motorcycle? Oh, we totally put it don't in our pocket. In case your master gambling is creaky. Well, I wasn't thinking a man as young as you would be needing that kind of remedy. 
but is you having problems with your Oh, that's all right. Believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> of course, it ain't none of my business if you do need it. Except that it is it. your business. You, you sell it. That's it, what businesses kind of, kind of, yeah. are. I, uh... Yeah, I don't... I just... God, the interplay in this. Oh, look, a little dog. <laughs> I assume that's the... Uh, the Kazanu's house? Oh, I hope yeah. we get to go there and sexually harass either the old lady or the dog. Maybe both. Try to talk them into a threesome. Hmm... Oh god, look at poor Gabriel struggling to cross this grass. <laughs> Difficult terrain. He's not very good at walking diagonally. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god. My shins, There's like my a shins. foot and a half of molasses here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go get our put together picture, because it's the next day. This is what I'm looking forward to. I hope that it's like some horrible, disgusting thing, and this guy's like, Why the hell did you have me work How's it with gone this? Today? What? Oh, it's only you. I thought yeah, you were a demon at first. All day. That, that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to. I hope it looks here. like an alligator mask. Wow, this is great. This jogger huh? also struggles just to move don't diagonally. Blow up the planet with it or something, okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. He's actually oh, doing a pretty yeah, impressive running man. Just being stupid. Mm. Do your thing with it and good luck. Do your thing with it. Well, look at it, Gabriel. Jesus, don't leave us in suspense. We can't masturbate to it here, Michael. <laughs> we, have to, <laughs> we have to go into Mosley's office. <laughs> oh, it's awfully hot here. Why don't you go change the temperature quick while he's out? Rub one out. <laughs> oh, we could go ask her about snakes. What? What did she do with the snake? Uh, she put it underneath the... This is weird. I don't... Whoa! She can move diagonally. Yeah, she can really move fast. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking. Gabriel leers at the dancer. But she seems to want a more overt demonstration. Slap her ass. I... <laughs> Show her your junk. <laughs> Twist a nipple. <laughs> is there just a hot key for that? It's like the H key is to show him your junk. Uh, go get a scale from the snake. Not a bad idea. Yep, she wants me. What the hell is going on here? This is like we've entered a weird circle of hell. <laughs> And then she garrotes us with her scarf. Yeah. Look, lady, I, I just want to ask you about my family history or voodoo or some or, shit. Or snakes, or or you can just tell me anything at all. Thanks, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now we get the scarf, is that? Jackson Square. It's a silken veil. Yeah, alright, get that, and then we can tie up Malia with it. and. <laughs> Be like, now that I have you where I want you, you're gonna tell me about snakes. The veil belonged to the fortune teller. It's covered with shiny, iridescent sequins. Well, let's look at our flying spaghetti monster drawing while we're in here. Yeah. Why didn't we nope. even look at that? The man Parazing don't give a shit. <laughs> you really wanted to look at that lady's garment, though. Oh, oh, there's a there's snake a scale. scale. <laughs> yeah. That sequin looks a little strange. Are we just gonna I reassemble a snake, a snake? <laughs> one scale at a time? I love that we're just like, hey, here's a random woman who has a snake. Let's see if it matches the murder snake, you know? Like, why would we think that this could possibly be... Gabriel carefully uses the tweezers to remove the snake scale from the veil. Look, there's that gator mask just... Just begging to be put on. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck aren't we wearing that everywhere? Belongs to you. Huh, my veil. I'm always losing those things. You have no idea. So we just gave the oh, veil God. back? That veil? You're such a sweetie to return a lady. That could be useful like so, so many ways. Handsome as well. Will I? 
I have a feeling fortune telling is not her primary source of income. Fortune telling? Let me see your hands. They look so strong. This is. She sounds like she's like on designing women or something. I wish something would. Hmm. Strong. Yes. Yet so delicate. You know what really underscores the sexuality here you know is that, that fucking band music. <laughs> Do we know who this actress is? <laughs> um, <laughs> we might. Madame Lorelai winks at Gabriel knowingly. She is a dangerous one. Well, that's kind of racist. <laughs> See the road of your life, folk. <laughs> <laughs> I see you folking too every time. Yeah. I'm looking through your window with my telescope. Are you okay? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, isn't her name Lorelei? I can't. What is it about me lately? Oh, maybe it's Madame Devereaux? Is that who? Let's. Do we think that's who this is? Kathy Garver, if that's the case. Oh. Don't know who that is. Yeah, neither do I. Gabriel has a scale from the fortune teller's boa. Yes, we know. We want to look at it with the magnifying glass. <laughs> Gabriel magnifies the scale from the fortune teller. The iridescent scale is hued olive green. It doesn't seem too much. Well, what a shock. I mean, why would we think the fortune teller murdered anybody? Let's ask it about snakes. <laughs> the reconstructed Veve was done Veve? for Gabriel Veve. by a technical artist. Nana Narrator just introduced some new vocabulary to us. I guess so. Really does look like Flying Spaghetti Monster, <laughs> huh? <laughs> what the hell is it supposed to be? I don't know. Let's go rummage through that trash can. Yeah, what the hell? If we got a trash can, let's... A veve is a religious symbol commonly used in voodoo and palo. It acts as a beacon for the loa and will serve as a loa's representation during rituals. Well, there you go. Wow. Very specific word for Nana to use there, considering all we know is it's a drawing, but all right. She's a sometimes omniscient narrator who Darcy. also uh, seems uh, to be able to interact really? with the cast the somehow. <laughs> Yep, good, we're gonna go slap yeah, Grace we, on the ass. Yeah, we totally clicked on her ass there. <laughs> Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Can you research my messages? <laughs> I have a pattern I need you to research. I think it might How be a veve. What is it? <laughs> it's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flower and blood. Well, shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. What these symbols mean. Well, that's why I'm asking you to research. Evil banishing gloves. An odd way to go for that little, like, insinuation there. Right. Okay. Quit being such a ninny, Grace. What's on the top floor, like the galley up there? Are we ever gonna, like, climb the ladder or something? I don't know, I, I doubt it. Uh huh. That's probably the banister he's gonna hang himself from at the end of the game. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well, since we're going back to the police station, we've just got about an hour left to part one. I think let's go ahead and wrap it up here. And we will, uh, we will see you guys next time for the thrilling conclusion of part one of two of Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are... 